Hey, good morning, many fish. It's the 4th of October 2017, and I saw this last night. I had to share it with you from the BBC. Wimbledon Station, commuters flee train in Bible panic. Passengers forced open the doors on a busy rush hour train and climbed onto the tracks after becoming panicked in the carriage. It happened outside Wimbledon Station in southwest London at 8.30 as a man apparently began reading lines aloud from the Bible. Commuters became scared when the man also began saying death is not the end. Passengers said rail power lines were cut as passengers self-evacuated. Police said trains were en route. Trains on the route were disrupted for nearly 12 hours, but are now running normally. Ian, who was on the train, said the man's Bible reading led to a commotion and a crush. He said someone then asked the man to stop speaking, as he was scaring people. And the guy stopped and stood there with his head down. Blah, 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 blah. No one injured. But they jacked up a Monday morning rush hour commute because a man was reading the Bible. I want that to sink in. This is really, really telling, folks. I was reading Second Corinthians this morning. In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. They've been blinded. And I guess it's hard for me to realize that sometimes and accept it. You know, I firmly believe there's always, always one more that we can drag into the boat. But this is really troubling, folks. People risking their lives to get away from a man reading the word of God. That should really make some people ponder this world and hopefully help you understand the spiritual war that you're in for your very soul. You need Jesus. It's that simple. I hope you seek him. Have a great day. Peace and grace. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord, and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God,